Well, this is your choice for movie. Oh, my pick. This. Pretty special movie. Happy Gilmore. Oh, my goodness. It's a Sandman. Came out in 96. This was the first movie I had ever seen on my own in the theater. I actually went with my brother and a neighbor kid. That's done on your own, though. I meant like without parental oh, guidance. Oh, okay. Yeah, without okay. parents. I was the one in charge. It was really cool. My mom dropped us off at the Woodbine Mall. Yeah. Down in Toronto. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, we went in. Saw Happy Gilmore. It still gets me. Got me in 96. Gets me in 2019. It's just, it really is an incredible film. It's Adam Sandler and he plays golf. And it's hilarious. Yeah, that's, yeah. Ex uh, wannabe hockey player. Wannabe hockey player. For some reason, can't skate, even though he loves hockey. Yeah. Can't skate, but has like the most devastating slap shot people right. have ever seen. For some reason, it transfers well into a golf swing. Yeah. Which, again, still doesn't make a lot of sense. But well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The movie is just, I think it's so well done. It's so well paced. There's no bullshit fluffer moments. No, no. You know, it gets right to it. And it progresses along really nicely, quickly. It's not a long movie, obviously. It's a comedy from the yeah, 90s. Yeah, hour and a half. Da- dead on, out. pretty much. Yeah. Dead on. That's like with credits. <laughs> but I think it's so well paced. It's so well done. All the jokes still land. You know, there's no like pop culture sort of references that don't transform right now. Yeah, yeah, true, true. If there is, they're not big ones anyways. It's just a funny, well-filmed movie. Great golf scenes, too. I just love it. I think it's it's my favorite golf movie. There you go. Oh, 100% my favorite And my golf movie. favorite Adam Sandler movie. I agree with that statement as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because earlier in the week we talked about it, and you said you like Billy Madison better. I, I kind of... Happy Gilmore's... Then you watched it As again, of last yeah. night, it, it's now my official Adam Sandler. I don't like... I still love Billy Madison. Don't care for Big it. Big Billy. Don't guy. here and here's here's my here's why I do I like how Happy Gilmore's great. So the reason I think I like it is because why the fuck do I care about Billy Madison? Fuck that guy. Like yeah, throughout the whole rich dick, rich dick hole, an idiot. <laughs> fucked up and is an idiot and talks like a baby for half the movie. Still great. I love it. So I'm like, it doesn't. Where this one, like, you learn a little bit about Happy's dad and family life. You learn, you see him. It's like, okay, like, you kind of root for this guy, right? Yeah, his mom left him when he was like ten years old. Yeah, his dad dies like two years later. Yeah, he's raised by his grandma, who, who he loves sweet. dearly. Yeah, and the, the bad guy, Shooter McGavin. Great, Great bad guy. Prick. Just so that's king good. of the dicks. You're not you're only king of the guy. dicks. Yeah. And yeah, happy. Whereas, your- like in Billy Madison, whoever that bad guy is, everything he's saying is kind of right. <laughs> yeah, he's worked at the hotel forever. Yeah, he wants to run it properly. And he doesn't think that the child man <laughs> should fucking run a million dollar company. Who could barely get through public school. Yeah, and can barely read. Yeah, should run a million dollar. I'm kind of with company. the bad guy in that movie, right? <laughs> yeah, you whereas, are not with Shooter. Whereas McGavity. this one, the guy, like everyone else on the on the whole. Tour is like, oh, Billy's a cool guy. Like, except Shooter, because he wants to win the yellow jacket. It's called in this. Yeah, the gold jacket. Yeah, yeah. Green jacket, gold jacket. Who gives a shit? There's so many fucking great lines in this film. Happy's just trying to get enough money to get his grandmother's house back from the IRS. Yeah. And uh, he's got to play some golf to do it. It's also got the great Carl Weathers as golf pro Chubbs Peterson. And he's missing his hand. Yeah. Because an alligator bit it off, and that's why he can no longer play on the pro tour. And it's the best, it's the best fake hand ever. In a movie. I don't. So I, 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 I there wasn't there was a, a, separate, a few scenes in this that like I kind of had forgotten about, right? Right. But also like I remember this. I don't. Maybe I just when I first when I was watching this movie as you know when I was younger, I didn't really know who Carl Weathers was. Right. I was like I don't know. Like he's show, he's showing. I'm like holy shit, that's. Carl Weathers. Yeah, Apollo like, fucking oh. Creed, man. I thought more Predator. Oh, I'm Predator, yeah. yeah. That, that's immediately what I thought of. And right, then Arrested right, right. Development. <laughs> he, and the hand is so obviously, it's, it's yeah, it's fake, of course, but it, they, they did it purposely real shitty looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just wood. Clearly and... him holding onto the end of a fake hand under a sweater. Yeah. Because one arm's like, you know, a full foot longer than the other one. It's amazing. And the hand keeps getting mangled up in different scenes and, and everything like that. And uh, it's just, I think it's a great bit. 
We get Ben Stiller as an asshole, uh, like, old-age home worker. You can bother me for a warm glass and shut the hell up. He's a great prick. Yeah. He is such a dick <laughs> in this movie. And actually, it's funny. There's a deleted scene where Happy Gilmore fucks up that, oh, yeah? that guy. His name's, oh, so he gets I it. I think he plays a guy named Hal. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. So Ben Stiller, in the deleted scene, gets fucked up. In the movie... He just eventually gets his grandmother out of the nursing home. Right. And yeah. you don't really see much yeah. of Ben Stiller other than him <laughs> being a great dick. We get uh, Kevin Nealon. Yeah, he plays... He's always... In a lot of his stuff that he does, he's always kind of hippie, woo-woo kind of guy, yeah. right? Uh, well, this and Grandma's Boy. I think in M. Sandler movies or like Happy Madison right? Versions, he no, plays that about, character. Isn't he kind of like that in Weeds? No, he's a lawyer in Weeds. Is he with a huge dick? Yeah, and then he starts smoking weed and gets a little more like that. He starts in chilling later out. in later seasons. Right, though. that's what it is. It's been a long time since I've seen that show. Yeah, doing the bull dance. Doing the bull dance. Nice. Yeah, Which, feeling it, <laughs> feeling it, working it. <laughs> At the beginning, they're going over like jobs that Happy of has had, and the they whole just go in. Credits are great. <laughs> they do like a whole montage and just like oh, <laughs> uh, whatever. Like I was a jander, and he's got like the, the mop handle, like being a dick. And it's like, I was a construction worker. <laughs> He's got like a two by four. <laughs> as he's a dick. dick. <laughs> I was a security guard. The baton as a dick kind of face fucking a guy. I was he's dying. Like, that was so funny. The whole, like, oh, and then I was a plumber. It's just his ass crack. Yeah. Gee, yeah that's I mean, funny. <laughs> that's it's still funny. funny. That's, Those jokes of plumber's ass crack, that still plays. Also, it's fucking 25 years later and it still plays. I'm really aware of my ass and my ass crack hanging out. I feel the breeze. Most people are not. I feel the breeze. It feels weird. Right? I, yeah. I, I see agree. a lot and working now in retail again. See lots of ass crack. Lots of ass crack. And I'm always, as soon as I bend down, if I feel like it's coming totally. up, I'm, I'm like, back okay. Up and yep. it. Yep. Absolutely. I'm a gentleman, first and foremost. I don't want to see ass crack. Nobody does. Yeah. Not dude's butt crack. Gross. Oh yeah, I just want to see whale tail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the opening. The opening credits of Happy Gilmore, as you said, where he's, they're showing all these clips in this like old film kind of way. They're also playing my favorite song of all time, Tuesday's Gone. Is it their favorite song of all time? I think so. They play at the end as well. They do. They which do. is perfect. Like, it's a perfect ending song. To totally. Just and, I mean, song. I immediately think of Days of Confused when the party's yep. winding down, yep. like Tuesday's Gone playing. Like, yeah. When I was in high school, I did not drink. But I did smoke Because you were a fucking loser. I guess so. I didn't drink. I wasn't a drinker. But not drinking, I could drive. Right. So I always had my truck with yeah, me. Yeah, because being stoned and driving is fine. Totally. Totally fine. <laughs> totally legal. <laughs> and uh, so I would give people rides home. And as soon as the party was over, get in my truck. And I'd always put, put on Tuesday's Dawn. That was always my drive home after party song. Mostly due to Dazed and Confused. Because <laughs> it's a great wind down tune. It's yeah. a great tune. It's awesome to drive to. Now, can we also talk about other... Another song in this that's a little more uh, debatable nowadays. Towards oh, that rock song or whatever? Yeah, the Gary Glitter called? song. Yeah, what's it called? I have actually? no idea. Hey. Na, 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 na. Kid Toucher. He's a kid diddler. He went for, in Thailand, got put away for kid diddling. What? Hey. That's like half legal there. Yeah. Holy, he must have been his he shit. Was, totally. he, was cut, he was cutting him up or he something. He's gross, too. He's just a gross human being, Gary Glitter. Well, obviously. So, yeah, that, I guess that doesn't age, but probably most people don't know that. No, I hear it though. I'm like, <laughs> ooh. Um, I love the intercom scene at the beginning with his girlfriend leaving him. I was <laughs> come on, Terry, come back, please, baby. I'll give you the little smoocheroo. <laughs> he starts singing into it. And, like, kissing it. And he's like, ladies, like, oh. And then, like, kids are listening, and then, like, an old Asian lady's listening. It was. I was dying while watching this movie. That, it's just like a laugh a minute. Yeah, was, every joke. Every joke lands. Every joke lands. That's, Nothing's yeah. missed. Everything's funny. There's a lot of physical comedy because Happy Gilmore, as he's stating in the scene opening credits, he's got a bit of a short fuse. He's got yeah. a temper problem, yeah. right? So he's not opposed to cracking you on the face. And during his first golf outing, his first hole, he has a real tough time. On his short game. He can't, can't putt. putt. can't putt. He can smack the ball. He can get onto a green. Yeah. He can make a hole in one on a par four, mind yeah. you. But he just has can't a tough time putt. with that short can't game. Putt. So as he's trying to putt, he's making all these fucked up missed shots. And there's a guy up on the hill like, oh, come on. Is this guy serious? Oh, come on, buddy. Let's go. And finally when Happy gets in, he's like, oh, it's about time. 
And then Happy Lozier was like, yeah, it is about time. It is about time. I just couldn't get the ball in the hole. I wanted to, but I just couldn't do it. He walks up to the guy, journeys yeah. and delivers him like one of the most devastating sounding punches I've ever heard. The guy might have died. And great Foley work. Talking about fights. Iconic Iconic. Scene. Everyone's seen this scene. Yep. It's Bob Barker versus <laughs> Happy Kilfor. What a fight, too. Great fight. I think Bob Barker, he's probably one of those guys, he, you know, even at the time, he was like already 95 yeah, years yeah. old. He's still alive. Yeah, I know. Mind you. I thought he was dead. He is still, so. in fact, alive. He probably like boxed in the Navy or something. It he, looks uh, like he's got moves. He was a guest host of Monday Night Raw. Yeah. And he punched out Jericho. He's a badass. <laughs> Everybody. So Bob Barker has been the whole, you know, he's not, he's no longer now, but host of Price is Right for 106 Forever. years. Yeah. You know, and I remember when I stayed home sick from school, if you were a kid in like the 90s like we were, you were probably watching Price is Right at some point. Right. And just to see him kick the shit out of Happy Gilmore, yeah. <laughs> it was amazing. It was so good. He made him such a badass. I bet the ratings for Price is Right like exploded after Happy Gilmore Price came is out. Price wrong. Bitch. <laughs> the other thing I love about this film, especially as a kid, and I still love it now. I love swearing. Yeah. Crave it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's weird because in my personal life, if I'm helping somebody in the store right. and they're swearing, not even angrily, but they're swearing a lot, right. I don't like it. That's weird. It's weird, right? Yeah. But in like a comedy situation, especially, I think it could be so funny. And this movie was rated PG. So they use a great device to get around the swearing. You know, there's a girl played by, uh, what's her name? Julie Bowen. She plays a PR agent yeah, named she's Virginia in Bennett. Modern Family now. She is. She yeah. plays the PR agent, Happy's love interest in the film, and she loves Happy because she's gonna or he's gonna bring a lot of viewers to golf. A New lot of money. viewers, yeah. Totally. She can really market this guy, but he's got that short fuse. So there's a scene after, <laughs> during that first golf tournament where she's up in the office of like the PGA Tour boss, whatever. Right. And he's like. This fucking guy's off the course. Happy Gomer, I'm putting out a press release now. He is out of the tournament. She's like, no, no, no. Like, he's doing great. The ratings are super high. We got to keep him in. I'll fix them. And it cuts to a scene of a monitor, and Happy's just fucking cursing this guy out. But it's all beeped. Yeah, yeah. And I think the beeps over swears could be even funnier to me. I was going to ask if you thought that was going to be funnier. As a kid, I was dying. I yeah. remember that scene in the theater because you clearly I don't remember, tell, I didn't remember that scene. You yeah. could clearly tell what words he was yeah, using. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but they got around it by beeping most of it out, I guess. Yeah. He's like, fuck you. You fucking play it where it lies. <laughs> you piece of monkey. Beep, 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 beep. I think it could be really funny. And I thought they did it beautifully. Mad TV used to do that. Sometimes they would have bits where right. it was like an all in the family bit, but like someone was drunk and he would start swearing and they would beep it out. I'm just using that as an example, right? right. But I know they did use the, the beep swears. Speaking of Mad TV, Will Sass was in the movie. Boy. It's funny because I think it was the first season that he was on Mad TV, it was in 96 as oh, well. Yeah? That was when he first yeah. came on. I lo- He's only in the movie. For two seconds. He's a moving man, yeah. That's yeah. when we yeah. first see Happy's hockey swing, hockey slap shot, rather, yeah. transfer over to a golf swing out on the front lawn of his grandma's house. He drives this fucking ball way down the neighborhood and caves some dude's yeah, skull Yeah, it gets funny, too, because how he hits the ball is kind of called the Happy Gilmore now, right? Totally. It's, yeah. It's but like, also, that's not how you do a slap shot in hockey. No, you don't run. You're not running. You're on skates, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's called, he takes like three or four steps and does this just huge 400 full body swing into the ball and it works every time i think every golfer at least around our age has probably tried that i know i tried that for sure couldn't get to work (laughs) i was just gonna end up hurting myself but who doesn't love golf you know what else Eh, you gotta love that also happy loves just like me subway sandwiches yeah he becomes their like sponsor he gets suspended at one point and poor guy he's still got to make money for grandma's house yeah and he's sitting in Subway with Virginia. He's like, God, I'm just so goddamn upset at that Bob Barker. The only thing that, that, that the only thing I like is this fresh, cold cut combo. And she's like, Wait a minute, I know how you can make money. <laughs> Boom! It cuts to him making a commercial about Subway. I fucking love Subway sandwiches. I know you're not a big Subway guy. It's not. It's the bread. I don't think it's very good bread. I love the bread. 
I love the meats. I love the cheese. The meats and cheeses. No problems. And the fixings. Sauces. I don't like how they. I always have to ask for more fixings though. Just ask for more. How's that hard? I'm like, okay, I'd like some pickles. And the guy puts three on a foot long fucking. Like, come on, man. Like, help me out here. Ask him for more. I do, but you should just. Obviously, put more than fucking three on it. Yeah, but the first time they do that, that that asshole's gonna be like, oh, too many. Take them off. No, take them. It's always easier to add on. Than I want, take off I want six at least. Disagree. Right? They get, just keep asking. That's what I do because I need loads of onions on my subs. Yeah, you're right. handfuls. <laughs> fucking, yeah. I know when you've ordered subs because I can just smell onions throughout the whole store. And you know what? That's <laughs> half the fun. <laughs> Half the fun is bringing in this dirty, stinky onion sub. Because then I also warm it up in the microwave. Oh, yeah, no, it's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God, and it just... And I don't mind. I like smelling onions. I feel it in my skin. Everybody else is upset by it, usually. And that's that makes it more fun for me. Oh, yeah, I don't give a shit. I'm bringing in a big, like, weird seafood soup. Dude, girl. I love Subway <laughs> so much. I wanted Subway to cater our wedding. I really did. Yeah, you did. I thought it was great. You know, they had all these platter deals, cookie deals... Also, we were on a budget. Right. And we could have catered this whole thing in Subway for a, a very nominal fee. Right. So. Wasn't well, in the card, so. No. I, I, I was a got hard no. <laughs> you, you tried to sell it. I did. A lot yeah. of people are gluten-free, I guess. And, yeah, we ended up having very good food. But I really good. wanted that Subway wedding. And I would back that up if anyone else <laughs> wanted it, too. Let's, yeah. let's talk about Adam Sandler as a whole. I love the guy. Yeah, he's made some movies that maybe weren't the best. Like, uh, but you like even the ones that are a bit like some people don't like. Yeah. So you like, for example, you like Little Nicky. Love Little Nicky. What about Waterboy? Love Waterboy. See, don't love Waterboy. Don't mess with the Zohan. Fucking one of the most underrated films. I give it a pass. It's it's fun. It's okay. It's, it's all right. It's that's all right. my boy with his pairing with Adams Awful. or Andy Samberg. Terrible. Fucking great. Terrible. Fantastic it's terrible. film. No, better than. Better than fantastic. See, Oscar nominated. I like Adam Sandler more as a dramatic actor. He's also really good in his dramatic roles. I think he's similar to Robin Williams, where I can't stand Robin Williams' comedic stuff. Yeah, it's too all over the place for me. And most Adam Sandler stuff I don't really like. I like. I, I tried to think of his comedic movies I liked. I like Happy Gilmore. I like Wedding Singer. Another great one. And then I didn't. I remember not minding uh, the one where he gets a kid. Oh, Big Daddy! Big Daddy. Yep. I've liked the whole Sandler collection, all most of his yeah. earlier films. See, Wedding Singer is not one I put on high on my list. You know what's a re- underrated Sandler flick? An action comedy that he did with Damon Wayans <laughs> called Bulletproof. <laughs> that is a funny, good movie. I don't. I've seen it. I don't. I don't remember it being bad or good. So. I'll I'll fill you in. It was good. It was good. <laughs> it was really good. And but I, just, I don't like Happy Gilmore. I don't like the Water Water Boy. I don't you like, like Happy Billy Gilmore. Madison. You just said a little Nick. Sorry, little Nicky. Yeah, okay. little Nicky. Yeah, I don't like him. But fucking as a dramatic actor, really and in, really into this stuff. He's like done. what? I I really liked Funny People. That is good. That's comedy though, yeah. but it's definitely more serious. Yeah. You know? Um. Oh shit! I'm trying to remember the name of it. Uh, Punch Drunk Love. Really like yeah. that. Really like that movie. He was just in another one where he plays uh, the brother of Ben Stiller, and uh, they're they're kind of a strange brothers, and they're brought back together because I think their dad's really sick. Oh, really? It's a, it's yeah, a, it's a Netflix film. It's a Merowitz project or something. Anyways, it was good as well. That's got to have some funny bits. No? As much as any drama does at I times, guess. you know what I mean? Like <laughs> His last stand-up that he did, his last stand-up special? Surprisingly good. Really good. He also does a beautiful tribute song to Chris Farley yeah. that just... You can YouTube that pretty easily. <sighs> makes me weep almost. <laughs> you told me it was good, and I was like, I don't believe you. <laughs> what? That it, that the stand-up was good. Because I, I didn't take your word on it. Because You brought that one over to me. You were the one that we got to watch this Adam Sandler stand-up. You doubt you put it on a stick and you brought it over. Like I, you're like I started watching it for twenty minutes. Yeah, you I did, haven't buddy. put anything on a stick for you in over a year. You put it on your own stick and brought it no. over. Yes, you did, no. man, because you were so boned up. Why would it. I download something that I have on Netflix? I don't know. You put it on a stick. I did not put that on a stick for you. You Joe. did one hundred percent. I'm not saying you I'm didn't watch it on a stick. I'm saying I didn't give that stick to you. You did. I don't have sticks. You brought, you brought it over. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. No, you yeah, you, you did. came to my house yeah, and watched it. Maybe. Okay, maybe. So I didn't, there was no sticks involved. Maybe. But we still watched it because you started no, it. No, because you told me how good it was. No, you yeah. told me how good it was. Uh, 
You're, no. you're misremembering. Why would I watch a fucking Adam Sandler stand-up special well, over you? Who the fuck knows? I don't know what you do. Yeah, well, first of all, we've already debunked, we've we've already debunked that you didn't watch it here and I didn't give it on to you a stick, so... <laughs> You your were the one that, and I'm still fuck. not even sure it was like I'm, I'm thinking actually might have still burnt it, but it was you that said, "Hey, I started watching the Adam Sandler stand up. I stopped at 20 minutes. It was so good. You should come over and watch it. Or we got to watch it together." That sounds that sounds maybe more plausible. But yes. I didn't put it on a stick. Fine then, but you were the one that brought it to my attention. Mm. Mm. Anywho, mm. moving on. Pretty good though, like surprisingly good. Um, I, I want to talk about Christopher McDonald. Uh, Shooter McGavin. Well, I'm still talking about Adam Sandler, though. Oh, okay. You're not, you don't was, listen, Joe. I listen plenty. You just talk. You were just stopping, so I was... Yeah, I still look at my Adam Sandler notes. <laughs> still talking about him. Well, what else? I think, in real life... Yeah? I think he's a really good guy. I bet. He pretty much, like, just keeps his own buddies in his movies. That's what I was going to say. Even this one was like, his hobo caddy is the fucking guy from Grandma's Boy. (laughs) It's like, holy shit. He's in all Sandler movies. Sometimes a bigger part than others, but... Yeah, like, and especially now, like, his fucking $20 billion contract with Netflix, he just put, like, David Spade, Rob Schneider, oh, like these guys. Two other guys, the one guy that's like, uh-huh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's always in them. That's what I mean. Like he's just hiring his buddies and move. And I think that's I love cool. That. I love that. I think I would be that if I got super famous for some reason and like did movies. I'd want you guys in. Right, and films. I think that's cool. Kevin Smith's very similar that way too, like with Jason Mewes and stuff, and all totally, all totally. the same people are in his movies. People he likes working with. And yeah, I think that's neat. So I think he's a nice guy in real life. I bet. If you're a friend with Adam Sandler, you're probably like friends for life with him. Yeah. It seems that way. Yeah. Because these guys always keep popping up in all of his movies and, totally. and like anything nice he's guy. involved in. And just fucking tons of money. He's tons, doing just fine. Tons and tons he's and doing tons, just fine. Tons and tons of money. <laughs> Be crazy to have all that. Yeah, it's millions upon millions. Yeah, mm-hmm. and and even like now he acts in one movie produces several yeah I don't think he really writes deservedly so man I mean he's been active since like the early 90s yep SNL I know you don't like Billy Madison but Billy Madison did you have his tapes yep yeah his fucking comedy CDs too I almost forgot about those (laughs) what huh they were so funny and filthy lunch lunch lady bitch lunch lady land yeah Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> there's so many good though like the severe beating of a high school bus driver and just holy shit there's never Paul listen. Booth Willie never listened to them no what <laughs> I've never, never never you've never heard any of the bits yeah well I know the lunch lady one you I know, know the Toll Booth you know Toll Booth Willie in the songs in the songs that's never listened to one all the way through whoa I don't like Adam Sandler even the CDs His though fucking that stupid fucking voice he puts on yeah I love the voice that he does all through Billy Madison. And yeah, and he's got another voice he does. All through That's My Boy. That's then the my other voice, voice that he does all through Waterboy and all through Little Nicky. All terrible. I guess, yeah. This one, he just seems to use his own voice and it's screams. Just him, yeah. And screams. He's got anger issues and he's fighting people. That's fine. And screaming. That's fine. Also, I think if you watch this movie and you look at his wardrobe, there's never been a comfier person in a film. <laughs> He's basically wearing like loose fitting jerseys and yeah. t-shirts and like sweatpants. <laughs> yep. He looks super comfortable. Great. Which makes sense for golf because you got to, you know, there's a wide range of motion there. I think you'd want to be free. I'm certain that there's golf courses where you're not allowed to dress like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's also a lot of rules. One of the yeah. best things about golf for people are the rules, I think. No, yeah. Hey, you like Formula One. Hey, I'm not no one's got more guy. rules than that. Yeah. Yeah, I love rules. Trust me. <laughs> There's a scene where Shooter McGavin, the bad guy in the film, he can't get people to go against Happy Gilmore because he's bringing yeah. in too much money in ratings. He's too valuable at this point. Can't get rid and of And seemingly him. all the other golfers just don't care. They're just doing their own thing. It's a personal game. Like, more money in the sport yeah. would mean more money to go around for everybody. That's mm-hmm. what Shooter, he doesn't really see the big picture. He just wants that. He just really jacket. is so desperate to win. And he is still... Like the best golfer out there, yeah. seemingly. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck? Just try to beat him. Yeah. Anyways, Shooter hires a SCTV alum, Joe, Joe Flaherty, Flaherty yeah. to like fuck with Adam Sandler on a course. I'm pretty sure on a pro golfing circuit, as an audience member, if you're Joe yelling Lee. during a golfer's yeah. back, so gonna be like, excuse me, like one of the marshals is going to be like, yeah. uh, sir, you're out, or you keep the fuck quiet. 
What does he keep calling him? Jackass. Ja- yeah. yeah. You will not make this part. Jackass. That was a joke. Like, it wasn't, to me, it wasn't landing. And then he just kept doing it. Then it became it's funny. Not- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at first, like. Yeah. <laughs> it's also got a. Uh, that big fucking Richard Keel, is that his name? Yep. Yeah, he played Jaws and Moonraker. Heck, yeah, Jaws yeah. and some of the uh, James Bond films. Mm-hmm. He was also in the original Longest Yard, which right. Adam Sandler remakes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and stars the great Kali in, in uh, Richard Keel's part, because he was uh, dead by that point, I believe. Yeah, I think Richard Keel is probably better. And you can better. tell in this movie, he can't move no, very well. No, he can't. Anytime you see his whole body, he's like kind of leaned up against yeah. a person. Yeah, I and mean, there's like a well, brief scene where he's running, but you can tell. He's just doing it. They just like, sped it just, up almost. Yeah. yeah. He's just moving his arms sitting down. Yeah. So it's too bad, but he's still fucking an imposing yeah. figure. And he's got a nail in his head the whole time too, which is extra freaky. He's yeah. got a great t-shirt. Guns don't kill people. I kill yeah. people. Yeah, yeah. Well, it doesn't track maybe nowadays with the constant mass no, shootings. I just didn't think it was funny. Really? Yeah. Even at the time? No. When I first no. watched it at 12 I've or 13. I've just heard that phrase. It's just like. I had not at the no time. no fear on your shirt, you know? Like, oh, I love no fear gear. <laughs> <laughs> did you buy, did you get the official no fear? Or did you get like the Zeller's knockoff one? I got Zeller's no like, rules. No rules. <laughs> <laughs> with a Z, I believe. <laughs> I think it did. A lot of neon, too. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. I don't really have much else to say. It's just really... I think it's really well-paced. Oh, I do want to talk about it from a a sports movie standpoint. Uh Uh-huh. I think the golfing scenes where he smacks the ball and they do like a camera going through the trees and stuff and you hear the whooshing of the ball. To me, it looks really good. It sounds really good. Yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, this is a good sports movie too. Oh, well, if you're going to... Not the... not the best. I said no, a good sports movie. But even then, like, they're they're totally, they have no rules in golf in the in Happy Gilmore world. Not many. So Pretty that's what loose. I mean. Like, it's not a good representation of the sport. That's true. Whereas I think a, a good, even sports movie, maybe does that better. Like Space Jam? Like Space Jam is perfect. Yeah. <laughs> they still play basketball, play by all the rules. Just Caddyshack, there's still, like, rules, right? For golf and stuff like, and that's where a lot of the jokes come from in that movie. Yeah, I love Caddyshack too. That's another great, great over movie. overrated. No, I will overrated. Talk about that another day. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, yeah, it's it's it. I wasn't like stoked to watch it. Like I wasn't all oh, sweet. When I started watching it, like fuck, it's funny. It's funny. It's fucking funny. When he's in the batting cages, he's got to tough it up for next <laughs> hockey trials. He's just getting blasted like. I remember as a kid just dying at a lot of the physical comedy bits. Even still appreciate it. It's a good. Yesterday. It's a good mix too. It's not, it doesn't just rely on that. No, and there's never a moment in the film where you're like, "All right, let's get to it. Come on!" It's just so well paced. They yeah. know it's not deeply serious, but the plot that they have about him needing money at Grandma's house back—that's yeah. something you're like, "Wow, yeah, you want to root for this?" His guy. dream sequence, where he goes to his, his happy, happy place, place and it's just a midget riding around on a tricycle. That's fucking funny. That's so good. <laughs> That's funny. Like there's there's nothing not funny about that. No, I know. It's it hits you from every angle, right? Yeah, it's it's definitely, in my opinion, Ab Sandler's best. No, it never drags. It's never too stupid. You can root for the character still too. Totally. And even the bad guy like I love Christopher McDonald as Shooter McGowan. He is just fuck that guy. You guy's, just look at that guy, you're like, oh fuck that I guy. I wanna smack him in the face <laughs> with a big old piece of wood for or something. Sure. There, when he's being introduced to the golfing fans and he's at a podium, he's got his back turned to the crowd, right? And then the guy is like, oh, we have Shooter McGavin. He just, like, turns around. And everyone applauds and are surprised that he's there. <laughs> that whole bit, I just love. I think it's so funny. That's one of the scenes as a kid I didn't really get. Right. Or I, didn't, I don't remember noticing. Yeah. But now as an adult, like, just having him already there and then he just turns his back like, hey, guys. <laughs> I, I think it's great. He's yeah, just he's a real prick. Dick. I eat pieces of shit like you for breakfast. You eat pieces of shit for breakfast? <laughs> but, 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 no. no. <laughs> he's, he's so good, and he he's just an idiot, too. That guy, It's good. It's a good movie. It's a good movie. Yeah. I was surprised. I don't really like Adam Sandler that much, but this is undeniably good. Great fights. Great swearing, but not swearing. Yeah. Great golf Just scenes. funny. Just, just funny. funny. It's a funny movie. It's got a little bit of heart. A little bit of heart. And that's like, we've talked about it, how like, that's what makes Tommy Boy great, too. Where it has, like, okay, you kind of like this character, at least. Totally. Like, you want him to do well. Exactly. Yeah, and you right? kind of feel for him. He lost his dad, even though he's super rich still or whatever, but you still yeah. feel for him. 
Yeah, where it's like fucking water boy. I don't care if this retard gets on the field or not. Who gives a shit? It's from the bayou. He's not retarded. Ugh, wow. He's from the bayou. Wow. They're eating, drinking swamp water and shit. He's not right. No, Somehow for sure. his dual mom gotta. You got that? <laughs> <laughs> Said it perfectly. So yeah, happy Gilmore. If you haven't seen it, you really probably should. Or don't. Whatever. I don't want to tell people how to do it. No, I do. I do. Go go watch it right now. It's fucking fantastic. It's only an hour and a half. Who doesn't have an hour and a half to just laugh? I'm a busy man. Nah, not that busy. No one's that busy. So wake up earlier. Wake up at like 6 a.m. to watch Happy Gilmore. Nah, I guess so. Yeah. 